are live. It's Wednesday and it's Wire Lady TV live from Montreal. We seem to be doing different times every week. Uh, this week it is 5 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're hopping on, let me know where you are listening from or watching from. And uh, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to flip the screen around, turn my sound off. Perfect. So we have Yep, that's great. So it's a super hot day. Uh, I have, the, oh, there's uh, Clarice. Hey, Clarice, how are you? You're the first one on. Great to hear from you. I wish I could have screens where I could see you guys too. So we have Serenity uh, Unmasked in Kansas City. That is awesome. Cool. So as usual, and and Kat, fantastic. You guys are so punctual. And Lexi, wow, so many. Oh my goodness, I got a tip. Wow, good. is that a super chat? Serenity Unmasked, thank you so much. That is so sweet. I've never had that before. You are the first one to ever give me a tip on, with the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we have Inga, Linda, Angela, Lois, Joan. You guys are, are on the ball. Maybe two, five o'clock is a good time to do the live. That's fantastic. So let me, um, I'm going to flip the screen around and then we're... We're going to Cats uh, in South Carolina. Cool. It's Rennie on mask at exclamation mark. I love that. So, guys, here's my stuff. That Oh, that's a bit of a mess there. I'm preparing for a craft show in North Carolina. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but down there, I'm plugged in so I can't show you. But that's my display for my craft show. It's like a stand with all my jewelry in it. So, I have a show next weekend. And I'm just going to flip the screen here so we can get... Uh, you guys can get a little view of my work area. Just finding the best place to do this. I think right here should be okay and we can see my hands. So I'm just not seeing the comments just for a sec. Oh, we have Emily from Arizona. Nice. So guys, here's the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. And as you know, I've been doing a lot of um, a lot of tutorials for the past month about how to use the jig kit and we have a whole uh, those of you who are in the wire art and jewelry makers club know that we have a whole bunch coming up in the month of August because I did a binge last weekend where I filmed a whole bunch of videos Melissa says hi awesome and Serenity MS says, you're welcome. I've been watching your videos. Thank you so much. I love the blue butterfly too. So, um, yeah, so I have uh, four videos scheduled for the next month. I asked you guys which one you wanted me to do next. So next Saturday is going to be the guitar uh, tutorial. And actually, here's the sketch of the guitar here, which is really cool. And Lexi says from... Uh, South Carolina. Wow, lots of people in South Carolina. And Peggy says, hi. Hey, Peggy, how are you? So here are what I wanted to try today. Uh, we'll see if it's going to work. As always, we're not guaranteed it will work, but we're going to do our best. So I was taking the bus um, downtown the other day, and I did all these sketches. I uh, might have to rewatch Terrible Connection. Well, that's that's too bad. I think, Peggy, you had trouble with connection before. That's That's unfortunate. Maybe you could go to a coffee shop or or to a uh, the library or something to get better connection. So here's uh, the I, d I sketched out all the letters of the alphabet, and uh, Janine says Newfoundland. That's awesome, fellow Canadian. So guys, in the meantime, if you wanted to screenshot uh, once the replay comes up, you guys can screenshot these templates, and so there's that one, and then here's the next set of letters. And they might, we might be doing some adjustments on it, but these are the basic shapes I did for the letters on the jig. So yeah, so if you're watching the replay, you can take a screenshot of those and I'll just do a few of them for today. And then what I can do is if they work out as planned, I'll try to do all the letters of the alphabet. But let's just get started with the first few letters and see how it goes. And so I'm going to just grab some wire. I think I'm going to try a slightly thicker wire. I'm going to try a, um, it's 1.2 millimeters. So in gauge, I guess it's about 18 gauge. Oh, I'm missing so many comments here. So there we go. Hopefully I said hello. If, if I miss any comments and you guys said something that you really want me to see, feel free to comment again because sometimes I miss the comments. So 
Uh, I don't know how many of you have this artistic wire jig kit. Some people have kits that are like the, uh, they call them wig jigs. So if you do have the jig, say, uh, say yes in the, in the comments or just say I have it in the comments. So I know how many of you actually have this jig. And if you don't have the jig, I can put a, list, um, a link in the description where you can buy it. I'm not affiliated with Artistic uh, Wire. I'd like to be affiliated with them, but I'm not affiliated with them yet. So we're going to see. So the name of this jig is called the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. Okay, so Joan says, what's the name that I saw that? And Melissa says, not yet. So any of these designs you can do by eye. You don't have to have the jig, but it's handy to have it. So let's go ahead and start with the A. So what I'm going to do is start with, maybe I'll do just a regular size peg. So let's just start it down here. One, two, three, just get a count over, maybe right here. And then as you always have to do with the jig it's you put the little plugs on the back because otherwise they kind of wiggle around and they fall out and all that kind of thing so if you don't have the plugs I know there was someone in the wire art and jewelry makers club that may do either she put I think she put a little bit of glue or like hot glue or maybe like I was suggesting maybe kind of a plastic tubing might work as well uh, so Kat says Hobby Lobby has them. That's cool. We don't have Hobby Lobby in um, Canada, but that's cool that you that you could get them there. Emily says just got one. Uh, Kat, yes. And Annika says yes, I, I have one looking for more pegs. So yes, you actually can buy just the pegs. So that's great too. So let's count down for here. One, two, and then diagonal one. So one, two, and diagonal one. Uh, sometimes it's a little tricky to see, you know, exactly where the pegs are. So I always try to just count so I have an idea of where they are. And then this one here is one, two, and over one. And I'm just going to put the plugs on as I go like that. And then we want to do, I'm going to make sure I'm still centered here so you guys can see me. So we're going to go from here, we're going to count down one, two, three, four, five, and over one, two. So from the main one, one, two, three, four, five, and over one, two. Okay, so this one's a pretty basic uh, shape. Uh, I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm going to wrap it. I, what I did on the bus was I just sketched out where the pegs would go. So we're going to see from here. So this goes down here and then one, two over. So now it's symmetrical and we'll just put the plug on the back. So Pamela says, hello, hello, Pamela. And Joan says, AC Moore and Joann's and Amazon has some cool. Yeah, Joann's is another store that we don't have that you have in the States. So you guys have a lot of good craft stores. We have Michael's and I'm not 100% sure Michael's has the jig or not. So so let's see what we're going to do here. So my thought was, oh, we need a couple more pegs. I realized there's one here and also one here. Okay, and I'm using the small size pegs. I think um, you don't want to use uh, them too big because you want to do as sharp, kind of as bends as you, as you can. And what I've showed you guys in some other videos is if you want a sharper bend, like a really like more like a, a corner, like a, a sharp bend, you can use a nail or a, um, or a pin that you just stick in the hole and just kind of hold in place because you can't put a plug on it. So you definitely can use that hack as well. Uh, Janine says, would silicone ear back work? I'm not 100% sure that would work because I don't think the hole would be big enough because I do have those silicone ear backs, but um, I'm not 100% sure it would fit on the back of the uh, of there. But like I said, if you get like rubber tubing, it might work. I know you can sometimes buy rubber tubing in the craft stores as well. So let's go ahead and get our wire. This one is uh, 1.2 millimeters or... Um, uh, I think we said 18 gauge, might be 16 gauge. I'm not sure. Sometimes it uh, depends. So Kat says it's raining. The internet is bad. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, it's sometimes it depends on the weather. And I've started doing my live streams upstairs because in the basement, my reception isn't super good. So let's see what we can do here. So if I just hold this in place and we're just going to go around here, I think it's going to be a little too wide on the bottom but I think I'm just going to try 
Oh, I have, I think I have another plug that I have to put here. Uh, yep, I think I had another plug that I had here. You know what I'm going to do is just stick a, um, I'm going to stick the nail in here to see how it works because I want a sharper bend. So I just stuck the nail in. Hopefully you guys can see my hands aren't in the way. And if we go down here and then what I want to do is you want to backtrack around there. I think we're going to have to backtrack around twice in that triangle. This might or might not work. We're going to see. We go down like that and then this one down and yeah I'm not quite sure what I had in mind when I did that. So let me just do this because sometimes I do these sketches and then they don't totally make sense after. So if we just go like that and then bend that one up and then bend that one across here. So I'm just going to look at this and see how it looks. It's not too bad. See, it's not too, too bad, but it's not quite what I want to have in mind. I'm not sure I want it so wide at the bottom. So let me try. I'm going to finish it. Okay, so what you would do to finish it is you would just take this here. You know what I, I might have done better is just do, just going to bend this a little bit, going to put it back on the jig and bend it in there, in here. So let me just move the jig over so you guys can see. So if we go like that, and then I'm going to just bend this up a bit, okay? And then this one too, we're going to bend it. I probably should have bent it on the jig, but I'm just going to bend it here, okay? Over here, maybe a little bit more. And we're just going to, and Jenny just hopped on. Hey Jenny, how are you? We're just making some letters of the alphabet with the artistic wire jig. So here's a start. It's not too bad, okay? So there's the A, and then what you could do at the top, you could put a bead up there if you want, and then you could just do a little loop. So the loop just gives you something to hang it on. So here's prototype number one for a letter, which it's actually not too bad. Like I had tried to do something here. And like I said, I don't really remember what I had in mind for that, but I'm going to try it again just to see what we can do with that. So let's put it back. And then this one, if you could make sure you guys can see. So this one, I had two other pegs here that I'm I'm going to put some two more pegs in there and see if it makes a difference. So let's go ahead and put another peg here and another. Oops, I just dropped one. I'm not going to scramble on the floor to get it. So <laughs> I've done that before, guys, but I'm not going to do that today. So let's let's just put these plugs on the back here and then this one on the back. Okay, so here's the next configuration, and I'm going to try to remove these inside plugs to keep that, keep it a little bit thinner. Okay, so let's remove those. Okay, so this is a slightly different configuration. Feel free to screenshot it, and we're going to see if that's going to work. So I'm going to cut another piece of wire, and they're about 12 inches, these wires, about that. So... Galen says, good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, Galen. And Lexi says, hi, I just made a necklace with a small wire A charm. Oh, how cool. That's awesome. Uh, Lexi, did you make it with a jig or did you freeform it? So let's, we're going to go ahead and try this one again, the A. And what I'm thinking to do for this one is let's just go this way. If we start in the middle, we're going to try that. And then down here, I'm going to just move these out of the way a little bit. Okay, and if I bring this up, because I had another idea for what to do with these, with these letters. So see what we're doing so far? We've got that. And Lexi said, with a jig. How awesome. That's so cool. I actually didn't even look to see if there were jig patterns for letters. So I kind of like the idea of making up my own designs. And uh, so maybe what I'll do is I'll do all the alphabet and then I can compare with what already exists. But um, I always love the challenge of creating the design myself. So that's, that's really fun. So now we're just going to form this around like that. Okay. And so if you see what I've done here... And then we're going to just bring this here, okay? And then we want to bend that up a little bit. So 
sometimes you could bend it. I'm gonna bend it up after I remove it from the jig. So you guys can have a look at the configuration here. Alexi says it was a similar, a really similar pattern. Well, you know what? I really believe in this universe. Uh, we're all connected and we all have the similar thoughts. And uh, so there's, it's absolutely possible that, you know, people come up with the design, same designs at the same time. And there's only a limited number of possibilities for, for combination of, of pegs that you could do the design with. So, so that's really cool. So here's the A is pretty good. I kind of like it like that. And then what I wanna do is we're going to bend up one end. We're gonna bend it up. And then this end here, we're going to wrap it around. So Annika says, I'm glad I caught this video. I had no clue about the plugs. Okay, cool. I received this gift and okay. So does Annika, does yours actually have the plugs in it or do you have to uh, find something that you can use for the plugs? Because you can buy the plugs separate or you can maybe make do with some uh, plastic tubing. So guys, see what I've done is just sort of, this is a basic A shape. And then same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and make the circle. This is just so you can hang it either on a pendant or an earring, or you know what? These would make really super cute keychains. In fact, I did keychains many years, well, not many years ago, maybe three years ago. I did a keychain design for like the base was wire, and then I surrounded it with felt. And it was a special request from a viewer. So, uh, so that's, I, I can maybe link up that one below. So Clary says, I'm in love with the jig. Yay! And Annika says, Yes, so it does have plugs, that's awesome. So here's the A. So what I was thinking to do with that, guys, is to get some thinner wire. This is 24 gauge wire. So let's go ahead and get a piece of the 24 gauge. I just have to find the end. That's always the challenge. Oh, I think I have the end. So let's just get that out. Yeah, here's the end. So let's just cut a decent sized piece of the 24 gauge wire. So maybe like one or, well, maybe a couple feet long. Cause you, I mean, you could add wire if you run out, but uh, let's just cut it a decent length. Okay, so we're gonna cut that. Oh, I think I cut, I cut it in the wrong place already. Okay, so let's just cut it like that. So here's our 24 gauge wire. And Pamela says, that's cool, I like it. Awesome, well, thank you. So. What I really wanna do with these is add some beads. So what I was thinking we could do is maybe just start in the middle of the wire and just wrap this around. Okay, we'll wrap it around here. And then I want to add some beads. So, so this is just wrapped with the 24 gauge. I have a whole bunch of seed beads. You could even do a combination of seed beads and like four millimeter beads, six millimeter beads. I have a really cute design uh, that I did in a previous video for a shoe. Uh, I know Clarice has made the shoe with all kinds of beads in it. So I was gonna use the same concept for the letters. And the other thing is I wanna do other jig designs where you fill them in with beads. I, I like the animals and the different things. So that's cute. So what number wire is the A? So the A I used, I'm using aluminum wire just because I like the way it bends. And the aluminum wire I have comes in millimeters. So it's 1.2 millimeters, but you can uh, probably use 18 gauge. I think you probably wouldn't want to go any thicker than 18 gauge or it's going to be really hard to bend. So what I want to do is now is just add some beads to the A and I don't think I'm gonna to get too fancy with it. Like we can just kind of wrap it, wrap them around. I'm gonna just do multi-colors. And uh, Janine says, yes, please. For the keychain video, yes. I'll definitely link that up below because it's got all the letters of the alphabet, uh, not even, not using the jigs. So, so you could definitely freeform these letters. Uh, I like the, the challenge of making some jig designs, but uh, you could definitely just do them by eye. So. My idea for this was just to go ahead and wrap. So what I've got is, I'm just kind of going in and out uh, where like here. And I guess what you could do is kind of like wrap it on the wire itself. But I thought I'll just try it like this. Try it the easiest way possible. You don't want to pull it too, too tight or you're going to like pull the, 
pull the base wires in a little too much. Um, but what, what you could do is if you find like it's, they're kind of squishing the letter a little too much, just go in, see in, in the wire here in between, and then that way it's going to hold its shape a little bit better. So let's go in that way. So we'll go that way and then let's get another one. Uh, I'm not gonna be too concerned about the colors. Uh, I have a limited palette here because I already kind of pre-chose the colors. And excuse the light, it's going in like dark and light because it's it was sunny outside but now it's getting a little dark. And I didn't want to get my uh, hot uh, lights out because it is a very hot uh, summer day. Let me know in the comments what the temperature is in your parts. I think it's probably about 30 degrees, but that's that's in uh, Celsius. So I don't know in Fahrenheit what that is, but it's hot. So let's just keep wrapping these around. And then what I'll do is for, I'll do a couple more letters after this, but I won't, uh, I won't worry too much about winding them with wire. I just wanted you guys to see what it's gonna look like after we've wound it with the wire. And like I said, you could probably do some bigger uh, beads, but I think for this one, I'm just going to uh, use some uh, some small beads. So let me just try to do this quickly. We're going to go through here. And like I said, if you find these letters, the wire, uh, base wire for the letters are getting squished in, just wind it around the wire itself and that'll hold it in place. Because otherwise, if you pull them too tight, they're just going to get squished in. So we're just gonna keep going in here like that. And let me know what you guys are doing for the holidays. Like, are, are you traveling? Uh, what, uh, what does everybody do in the summer? Do you have a cottage? Uh, my parents have a cottage. So sometimes we go up to their cottage. It's about a four hour drive from Montreal. It's in Ontario in uh, near a little town called uh, Pembroke. So we go there, uh, usually in the summer, my parents go up for the whole month of August. So, so we usually go visit them there. And they're, they're actually getting up there, they're in their 80s. So they, uh, they just go and they chill for a month. So Lexi says this video has been so helpful with technique and inspiration. Yay, thank you so much. That's, uh, I, I just love teaching. And I'm thrilled that you guys hop on these live streams because uh, not only do, do you guys learn stuff, but I learn a lot in the process because often I'll be a troubleshooting designs and you guys will have some great ideas and solutions for, for you know, if I have trouble with some uh, ideas for design or beads or what have you. So, so see guys, I've done this one side already. So let's just go ahead and clip that off. You could maybe, add more beads, squish them more in together, but let's just try to keep this simple. So now this one, if the wire is too high up, just kind of bring it down a little bit. So we're gonna go here. Now you'll see that this side, this little end here is pinched in a little bit just because of the nature of the design. Not a whole lot we can do about that, but we can just wind a bead on there and it's gonna be, it's gonna look fine. So let's just go ahead and wind a bead. We'll get an amber one. And Denise says, hello, I love the beaded letters. Yay, well, that's fantastic. Well, I'll definitely do the whole alphabet, but I won't do them on the live stream because we'll be here for until midnight if I do all the letters. But I would like to try to do a couple more, just the base shapes. So we're just going to finish wrapping this one and then we'll try a couple more letters. And the ones I don't get done, I'll definitely do on a, another video, in fact, Maybe I can do like sort of um, like a, a speeded up video or something like that. That, uh, But ultimately I will create all the templates and you could either uh, purchase the templates. I have a wire art course uh, with a module about making te your own templates. And that includes, um, when I sell that that uh, module, I also um, give people the all the templates I've made so far, or you can just buy the templates on, uh, I, I have them listed on Etsy. Uh, but if you would rather not purchase the templates, it's not a problem because generally you can just screenshot uh, the, the configuration when I post it on YouTube. So that's totally okay too. So whatever, whatever you guys prefer. And then if ever you have special requests for designs, for templates, uh, I'm always happy to tackle new things. I know I have a little bit of a backlog of things that people have requested, 
but uh, I do my best to uh, to try to um, to do special requests for people. I'm trying to think of which ones I did that were requests. Oh, I had a request for feathers and and leaves that I'm working on, and uh, I forget I had an, I had more. There was this. I don't know if the seahorse was a request. I've kind of lost track, but so here I put two more beads in the middle and then you want to backtrack your wire, kind of just go back the way you came around here. And then we're going to wind it around here. And then all we have left is this one side for the A and let's get maybe another amber one. And oh, I'm missing, uh, I'm missing some comments. So we have... Char says it's 94 in Florida. That sounds hot. I'm not sure what 94 is, but it definitely sounds hot. So uh, Lexi says, do you have any ideas, techniques for a beaded dog paw? Okay, well, that's interesting because uh, one of the videos I'm posting in the month of August is a dog paw done on the artistic wire uh, jigs. So that's definitely coming up. And so yeah, so I have a I have the designs coming up. If you look in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I did post a sneak peek of the um, of the finished product of the dog paw. And so, were you thinking to do it uh, like with beads inside? Because the one I did was just wire, but you could definitely fill it in with beads if you want. In fact, I remember once I did a little, just a little simple, tiny little dog paw, just made out of beads, and I. Think, yeah, I do have a video for it on YouTube. It was, I made, I had a, a friend that their, uh, the family dog passed away and the, um, the girl wanted to make a rainbow, I think it's called a rainbow bridge bracelet. Uh, I didn't even know what the rainbow bridge was, but it, it was a poem that was made uh, to commemorate uh, people that have lost their pets. I don't know if it's specifically dogs or pets. And so we did, we did, um, together with the girl because I used to do jewelry at the at the high school and so she was one of the students that took my jewelry making class so I went to her house and we made the little dog paw uh, as a um, as a bracelet so that was super cute I'll link that up below so guys here is the letter a which is kind of funky hopefully you guys can see it there's I will bring the I will bring the camera down closer after so you guys can see because I know there's a bit of a shadow here and uh, super cute if I recall. Yeah, so yes, just for pet. It is for pets, eh? Oh, that's, that's really nice. So guys, let's try a couple more letters and then I'll bring the camera down and show you. So let's try the, why don't we just go in order? Let's try the B. I feel like this is really dark and I'm so sorry about that. Let me open my curtain a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna help. Ooh, I'm not sure that's any better. Yeah, it's really dark, guys. Sorry about that. Let me close this. Yeah. So what I'll do is, I know it's really dark and I apologize, but I will still keep going and troubleshoot uh, the bee. And then uh, what I can do is post a picture in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club too and in the community section of the, uh, of the YouTube channel. So Emily says, so pretty, thank you. So let's try the bee. So here is, I'm going to make sure we're centered here. Yep, so there's the B, and I'm going to just put the, the pegs in there. So I, I'm doing all the letters the same height. It's just going to be much easier. So if we put that one there, and then I think we have to count up five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's um, that's the nice thing about the jig is you can get them all the same size because you just it's just a grid, right? So you can line them all up. So let's go ahead and start with the B. Oh, that nail came out there, that's okay. And then I thought we can use the larger size pegs. Well, these are the medium size pegs. So let's see what position that's gonna be in. So if we go one over one and down two, looks like over one and down two. So we'll get the plug in there. Okay, and then Let's go back and do this one. And then here, in theory, it should be the same, but, oh no, you know what, that's, I think I used a bigger one down here. So that might be too big though. Thinking that's, that's gonna be maybe too big. So let's not use the big one. Uh, let's just 
try the small one again. So if, what did we do? We went over one and up two. So let's, hmm, let's see if that's going to be down here. Nope. Over here, maybe. Let's try it here. That's just, uh, we're just going to wing it. We're going to see if that's going to work. Okay. And I'm, hi, I'm from Plymouth, England. Oh, very cool. So that's Busy Bird 21. So what time is it in England? I think it's getting pretty late over there. Because you guys are like six hours later than us. So let me guess. I think it is, what are we, five? So, oh, it's not too bad. It's like 11, 11 o'clock there. Except I don't think you have daylight savings. So maybe it's not quite 11. I'm just looking at my screen. It's not too dark. So, okay, it's not as dark as I thought it was. I was looking at the, um, in my iPod and it looked darker. So, uh, so I watched your video of the dog paw using the jig. Impressive. Oh, dog paw. Did I already do the dog paw? I thought I didn't post it yet. Okay, I'm getting, I'm confused now. So let's go ahead and do the B. And let's get to put it this way. And I guess the dog pot was last week. Oh boy, I'm losing it. I think it's the heat. So I have one more peg and we're going to just figure out where this peg goes. So this one, let me just count down here. Okay, and we're gonna go um, one. Yeah, last weekend I filmed like six videos. So that's why uh, my brain got a little bit fried. So one, two here and then over two. So let's try that. So one, two and over two. See, that's going to be a little tight now here. Okay, because that's the trouble. When I do the sketch, I don't always know what's going to work. So let me try it here. I'm not going to put the plug in because I'm not 100% sure. It's brighter now. Okay, that's perfect. So let's go this way. I think I'm just, I'm just wondering how I should do this. Let me try something else because the other idea I had was I can actually get a marker lid. Let me see if that's going to work. If I did a mark, put a marker lid here, yeah, this is where you do a lot of troubleshooting. So if I put this here, I put the marker lid, and then, but what I was thinking I should do, if I do that, and then maybe I'll put another peg over here, because you want to bend it down. So what if we put a peg here, mm, or here? Let's try that here okay let's try that uh, okay so if we did this we'll put this one here okay I'm just going to be careful that these don't pop out so I'm just using a marker lid and then we'll go to this one and then bring it down okay so we're going to bring that one down and then maybe what we should do is put another peg here okay and then hold that in shape and put in place and go that way and then around here and here and then we're going to go this way and then this one over here yeah, this one's a bit of a mess but we're going to try it without the double wires after and we're going to put this one here uh yep yeah. and that one there and then we would need another peg and what i'll probably end up doing is going back and looking at the video video after and screenshotting <laughs> what I've done to, 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 uh, to get to where I want to go. So, so far this isn't too bad. So we've got this, the top one looks better than the bottom one. So let's just remove this from the jig. Okay. So feel free to take a screenshot of that. If we think it's going to be useful, let's move this over. And so here we have a bit of the bee here. We're going to bring this here and that one there. And then if we kind of center it, where we want it and then we have to like turn this wire around okay we're going to turn it around like that and then we want to form the circle at the top you can use larger round pliers or the small ones uh, whatever you like and you'll see sometimes I actually cut my wire with my pliers and you can do that because the aluminum wire is super soft which also means you have to be careful not to destroy it so this is not too bad. I'm not super happy with it because it just, it's a little distorted, but you know what? This would be fine if you added beads to it. I think it would look okay. So let me just try something else to see what we can do with this. I'm going to cut another piece of wire 
and we'll see what we could do to keep it maybe a little more simple. So you know what, I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to remove some of these pegs. And what if I do try this big one? Is this, is this going to be too big? Let's try it. Okay, so if we do that and then we can maybe stick this one. Let's try this. It might work, it might not. So let's go here and then we're going to just I always bend it a little past the peg just to be sure. Whoa, see the see they jump up if you don't put the plugs. So let's just do that one here. And so hold yeah, I'm gonna hold the plug down at the same time. So we're gonna go here. And then this one goes around here. And then this is just like really just the basic shape for the bee. But I think it's it's gonna be a little bit distorted because this one's much bigger than that one but let's just try it so we'll remove that and then I'm going to try the C so we're going to bring that up and we could bring that one down a bit so you can always like kind of adjust it a little bit so this one's much more stylized we might have to bring that one up a little bit okay we're going to bring that around and what you could have done with this one is maybe made it a little bit shorter and then made these the same. So that might have worked too. So let's let's just do that super quick because if you don't need the letters to be the same size, it's okay. It's just because of the symmetry. Sometimes it doesn't work that they, um, uh, you know, sometimes the letter doesn't fit in that grid size. So let's see if we can do, what do we do? We went down one and over two or I'm trying to think of where this one should go. No, that doesn't even work either. So that, that one was like down one, one, two, and over. Okay, so this one would be up two and over one. Yeah, so this, if we're going to do a slightly smaller one, this might work. We can try it. Let's just try it because that's why we're here, right? Just to try some different designs. Some of them are going to work. Some of them aren't. And so let's bring this here but I'm wondering if that should even go higher. See, it's very tricky because you can't get them super, you know, symmetrical sometimes, but let's try it like this. So these are actually just four pegs apart. We're gonna go this way and then around here. Bend this a little just to hold it in place. Okay, we're gonna go here, that way, and then around here. I don't know if I have any pegs left in these. On, or any plugs left on the back of these. So this one's gonna be a little more symmetrical, as you'll see. So feel free to take a little screenshot of that as well. And we're gonna remove it, okay? This bee is much more symmetrical, okay? And then we're just going to bring that up. Okay. And then you can open these up a little bit more. In fact, you know what? I bet we could have so this isn't too bad, but what we could have done, if you do want it the same size as the A, I bet you could have made this actually higher and then just stretch these out. So let's try that too, okay? I'm just going to try that as well. So what I'll do is I'll just, because I don't mind if I kind of ruin the wire a little bit because we're just here to try the design. So what if we brought it back and then just put this up one, okay? So they're actually gonna be at the same height the B and the A. So the only difference is when you go to bend this wire here, it's just going to be like up there. So it's not, at this point, it's not super symmetrical, but you're, you're going to see what's going to happen. So we're going to bend that wire up. So it will be the same size as the A. And then what you want to do is just stretch them open a bit. Okay, that's all you have to do is just stretch them open a little bit. So it looks a little funny, but hey, we're gonna just go with this for now. And I mean, in the worst case, if it really looks bad, you can get like a, you can get like a marker and, and fix it a little bit too. So, and there goes my marker on the floor. So there we go. So we're gonna twist this around, okay? And cut that, okay? And then we're gonna do the loop at the top, around like that. Okay, and then, so that's the B, which isn't too bad. So we have that B and then this B, 
which is the bottom part is larger than the top part. So guys, you let me know which one you like better. Do you like the B with the both the top and bottom the same size kind of curve, or do you like them with the bottom, the bottom one being bigger than the top one? So, so let me know of these two, which one you prefer. Same size uh, uh, rounds or top one smaller than the bottom one? You guys can just let me know and I'm gonna start the C. So let's bring it back here and here's the C. And so what I wanna do for the C is let's take these pegs. So we're just gonna, actually we'll just leave these here maybe. Let's remove this. So the pegs, if we want these to be about the same size, what if we put one here? Mm, let's see, this should be good. And then one, that's there, one here. Okay, let's try that. Let's gonna put one there and one there. I'm gonna put some, you like them the same, again it says the same size. So that's that's good to know because uh, sometimes uh, people have different opinions about the aesthetics and how they, how they look. So I like that one too. Yeah, I think it's good. And you could still, even though it's just a single thing, you could, you could, oh, actually I had a good idea. What if you just did the same thing twice? Oh, this would be a good idea, guys. You would just do the same thing twice and then you could add beads to it. I'll try that again after two, now that I've destroyed the jig. But anyways, so if we're gonna do the C, let's just try the C, we'll keep it simple. And then I'll try to revisit that one after. So the other thing you could do for the C is you might have to use a larger size round as well. You like the bigger bottom one. See, so Melissa has like the other one better. So everybody's got their own ideas about aesthetics. So we really, it's really a hard call, right? So what we could maybe do here is I want to just see the best way to do that. I might have to get like a larger, let me just see if I have a larger circle that I can use for that. Because sometimes I use a pill bottle. So I have these pill bottles that I just, <laughs> I kind of stack them up. So this is one of my tools. I just stack up a bunch of pill bottles and then I have different size circles. So it maybe is going to be good like, yeah, see that kind of fits on there. So this is another little hack that you could do for the, um, for the jig. So what if we put it here for the C? Uh, the pill bottle, unfortunately the pill bottle is a little tricky because it's not like the edge is a little, like there's a little like, crevice in it so I don't know if that's going to work or not but let's try it so if we go in there like that or what you could do is maybe start it first like what if we just started the C first okay let's just try that so if we just start it like that and then we just bring it on here I hadn't really thought this C out the very much so I don't know if this is going to work or not so if we and I'm thinking they have to be further apart. So what if we did that? We brought it up, okay? And let's try to put a peg in there. Maybe the peg should be over here. So what if we just did here, we did a, the peg and brought it down. This might work. And then we bring it around here, okay? And then this one here, let's see where that peg is. Maybe here, kind of not sure exactly the proportions, but that might be okay. So if we put this one, or maybe here. So what if we put this one here? I'm gonna hold this down. And then we're gonna go up here. So this is not too bad. You see how it's how it's going here. And then if we bring this up, and then what you can do is like put this pill bottle back, or the other hack I have that I did in my other videos is you just take your thumb and rub it, because that, it's awkward to get it with the pill bottle. So let's just do that. We're just gonna rub it, okay, here. Try to line it up as much as you can with the other line underneath it. So if we go here and then let's get a nail, get the larger nail, and stick it kind of centered over top of this, here, over top of that piece. We're gonna center this and then just bend that up at a right angle. So guys, go ahead and take a screenshot of that if you like. And then I'm gonna remove it from the jig. So here we go, we're gonna remove it. Let's take the jig away. And we can remove those now. So this is the idea. So we're gonna to have to bring this one to the front. 
So it's kind of interesting. I think if you're going to beat it, I think it could work quite well. Actually, this one's going to go to the back. I think I'm going to bring that right to the back. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Let's just see. Not 100% sure, but I think if you are going to beat it, it would be all right. But at least it's a good start. So, but what I'm wondering is if I should have done a little bit differently, but let's just go with that. You know what? I'm going to bring this to the back. That's the trick, eh, is how to finish off your design. That's the hard part. So if we go like this, and then all these, like, funny directions of wire and stuff will get fixed up when you, when you do beat it. So let's just twist this around. And if you guys make any, any of these, be sure to share photos in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club because I'm sure in experimenting, you're going to come up with some new uh, different designs. So there's the C. And then I just want to go back to the B for a second to see what we can do. So here's the C. So it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. And I think you could do some uh, beading on there. Oh, you know what I, I had, uh, I'm trying to think. I think I had a better idea. So let's just try, let's bring it back. And I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to try one more thing with this. And we're going to wrap this around. Okay, let's try this again. So if we're going to wrap that around a little bit more, what if we did it in a way that was more symmetrical? So if we're going to go in, and then let's bend this to the outside, and then this one, we're going to go in and bend that to the outside. I think that's going to be better. Okay, and then we're going to bring it around. This one's going to come up here. Okay. This one too, you might want to just give it a little help to make it a little more round. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing where we put the nail and bend that up. And then this one, uh, let's try to do it with this. I think it's going to be maybe better. Let's just bring it around here. I think it's going to be better. We're going to put the, the, um, the pill bottle because sometimes it's hard to get a nice shape when you use your thumb. So guys, this is maybe a little slightly different than what I did the first time. So let's remove it. And I think, oh, it's much better. Oh my God, it's much, much better because of the direction of the wire. So that's good. So let's twist that around. Okay. Twist that and then we're gonna make a loop at the top. Yeah, because the other C, it just wasn't really working like the direction of the wires, but this one seems a lot better. So let's just do that. We're going to cut the end, and then this one you could definitely wrap with beads. Whoops, sorry, I just jiggled this. So, um, do you shop in Petoskey? I don't know what that is, actually, because we're in Canada, so I've never heard of that, but you guys uh, can comment if you've heard of that place. So the C turned out really well, and I like it with a double wire. So let's go back to the B and see if we could do it with a double wire. So I forget exactly where I had put those pegs for the B, but let's just go here. And we've got a one, two, three, four, five. I think that's what we did for the height. Okay, let's start with a very basic shape for the B. And we're going to need another peg. We're going to put that peg here. And I'm just wondering if I'm going to do it, uh, the big one on the bottom and the little one on top. Ooh, okay, so let me just see. Let me see how it looks with the with the one on the bottom too. Okay, so if we do this one, okay, and da, 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 that one, and then that one here. Okay, let's try it that way, just to see with the big one on the bottom and the little one on top, and we can always try the other ones too. So Melissa says, I, you shop, I have. So Melissa shopped at this Petoskey. Is that a craft store or what, uh, what is that store? It sounds like a hardware store, but, uh, but uh, who knows? So, so let's try it this one. And my idea is just to do it a double wire. So if we go here and then here and then here. Okay. So all we're going to do is do it twice and then come back. Always go past the peg a little bit. 
Now they're jumping like crazy because I didn't put my plugs in. So we're going to go around here and here. So let's see if this is going to work. All it is is just like a double, a double loop, but I'm not 100% sure this is going to work. So let's try it. So it looks a little bit funky like that, but what we want to do is bend that and bend that so we can finish it. And this one too, we're going to have to adjust it. We're going to have to maybe widen it a little bit. Okay, like that. And then if we just, let's just try it where we just put them kind of one on top of the other. Okay, and then we're just going to make sure they're sort of lined up and then bend it around. And then we'll do our loop and then I'm going to see how it's going to look. But I think the bee definitely is going to need more work. Oh, now the sun's out, so there's a lot of shadow. I have to find a solution to this, the lighting, because it's, maybe next time I'll do it in the back room, because it's, the lighting's a little more consistent. So here it is, like, with the single and with the double wire. So I'm not sure that's working either. So I think, if anything, I would have wanted to... I'm trying to think. Anyways, we're going to just do this for now. So guys, I'm going to show you everything that we made and I'll work on these in the meantime and maybe either do more on the live stream next week or I'll do a different project next week and we'll, um, I'll figure out these on their own. So if we just do the, the double B there and then we got the B's and the C's. So I'm going to bring the camera down so you guys can see these up close. Sorry, it's a little bit shadowy. So let's bring it down here. Okay, so there we go. And you guys can tell me, give me a little bit of feedback and tell me, uh, tell me which one you like the best. And uh, let me know if you're gonna make some of these. And if you do, definitely share pictures in the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. And if you don't have Facebook, you could email photos to info at heatherboydwire.com. And that would be amazing. And he <laughs> says A plus B plus B plus C. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so this Saturday I'm going to post a video about the um, guitars. Let me flip my screen around so I can say goodbye. There we go. So yeah, so thank you guys, everybody, for watching. There's a bit of my art collection over there. And what says, I think you're beating the very first B would be, okay, the first B, the first B, okay, that's good. Maybe I'll try that then. Oh, and then, oh, I missed some comments. The third B looks good. Okay, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for the feedback. And thanks for hopping on. And have a great week. Enjoy your vacation if you're going on vacation. And we'll see you the next time. Have a nice time. I'm camping. Oh, cool. You're camping. That's fun. That's awesome. Okay, bye, guys.